Hi viewers, we want to look at the topic variation in mathematics. We have different types of variation. Let us look at the types that we have. We have what we call direct variation. Now, when we say x varies directly as square of y, now we are going to join our x and square of y with our variation sign. The next step is that we change this variation sign to equal to sign. Then we introduce our constant of proportionality, which is k, which multiply our variable on the right hand side as we can see here. Let us look at the next type, inverse variation. R varies inversely as cube root of q, alright? We join our R and inverse of cube root of q with our variation sign, alright? And when we say inverse of any number, it means 1 over the number. So inverse of cube root of q, it means 1 over cube root of q, alright? The next step is that we change this sign to equal to sign, then we introduce our constant which multiply 1 over cube root of q as we can see here and we have this now we have what you call joint variation now x varies jointly as y and cube of w now in joint variation the end here means multiplication so we multiply our two quantities which is y and cube of w as you can see here so we use our variation sign to join them here the next step is that we change this sign to equal to sign where we introduce our constant which multiply y and cube of what w. The next type is combination variation where we combine direct variation and inverse variation. So let's see how we can do it. X varies directly as y and inversely as z. The end here in combination variation we treat it as multiplication so you can see y multiplying inverse as z 1 over z and we have this we change our variation sign to equal to sign where we introduce our constant which multiply the y divided by what z the last part that we have is partial variation in partial variation we have two constants the first constant we use k1 to represent it and the second constant we use k2 to represent it let's see how we can represent that x is partly constant and partly varies directly as y so our x this is the x is partly constant we bring equal to sign we introduce our first constant which is k1 the end in partial variation we treat it as what addition don't forget this partly varies directly as what y we bring our second constant which multiply our what y and we are doing this because this is direct variation at this later part here let us look at the second example here n is partly constant and partly varies inversely as square of what x so we have our n equal to k1 plus k2 multiply inverse as square of x so we have one of our square of x where we can have this all right one thing we need to know is that in variation the constant must be solved for before we can get our equation to solve for any variable we are looking for in our next video we'll be looking at how to use these principles and formulas to answer questions thank you